one of the most common questions that I get after students uh, decide on pursuing BSc Economics is this. Where should I study it? Hi everyone, I'm Jai Surya. I'm a high school education counsellor who helps students in career counselling, education counselling, university admissions at universities in India and abroad. Uh, before we dive into this video, don't forget to like uh, this video and subscribe to our channel. It will help us reach to more uh, students or parents like you uh, who require such kind of information. In the last video, we spoke about what is bachelor's in economics and what kind of careers it can lead to. If you missed it, do check it out. It's on the iCard. Now let's get started with where to study BSc Economics in India and abroad. In India, the most prestigious economics majors is offered by central universities, especially the Delhi University. Some of the top DU colleges include Sriram College of Commerce, SRCC, Lady Sriram College, LSR, Hindu College, Hansraj College, and Miranda House. These colleges offer the most rigorous economics courses with tens and thousands of students competing for a few seats every year. Here's a fun fact. Apart from DU, two IITs offer good BSc economics courses. It's IIT Bombay and IIT Kanpur. Yes, IITs. Most associated with either engineering or architecture, but some of them have very good humanities and social sciences colleges too. Now let's talk about private and liberal arts universities. Some fantastic institutions that offer high quality economics courses are Ashoka University, Shiv Nadar University, Kriya, Flame, Christ University and St. Xavier's College. Uh, admissions to uh, institutes like Delhi University happen through the CUET exam. Some private universities also uh, accept CUET exam, but most of them usually have their own admission tests and sometimes even interviews in the process. So always double check their websites for latest uh, information about admissions. Now top global universities for economics. If you're looking for options abroad, here are some of the best destinations. In, in the United Kingdom, we have the London School of Economics and Political Science, which is one of the best in the world for economics. Oxford University and the University of Cambridge. Also UCL, University College London. In the US, top universities are Harvard, MIT, Stanford, University of Chicago and Princeton University. But keep in mind, not just these, there are hundreds of strong economics majors offered across universities in the US including many liberal arts colleges where class sizes are smaller and the learning is more personalized. Europe can also be a great option if you want high quality education but at a relatively lower price. If you like European culture and if you want to avoid the uncertainties that US and UK are bringing in, then it is a fantastic option. Some of the universities in Europe are Kony University, Italy, Erasmus University, Rotterdam, Netherlands, ETH Zurich in Switzerland. And there are many other universities across the European nation. In Asia, the top picks are National University of Singapore, NUS, Singapore Management University, SMU, and University of Hong Kong, HKU. Now, the question I get very often is, what streams do I pick for my 11th and 12th in order to pursue BSc Economics? If you're sure about pursuing BSc Economics, I strongly recommend Commerce with Mathematics. A good subject combo would be Economics, Business Studies, Accountancy and English. You wonder why Mathematics? Why not just Commerce? This is because most BSc Economics programs in India and abroad either require Mathematics or prefer in your 11th and 12th. If you're not taking Mathematics, uh, you can just apply with Pure Commerce, but this is usually for a BA or a Bachelor of Arts in Economics. Now, science students with PCM can also apply for BSc Economics, even though they didn't pick Economics in high school. This is especially important for those who are looking to pivot from engineering to, say, Economics without losing their analytical skills. The biggest benefit of pursuing Economics is the diversity of career options you have. For Indian students especially, it's a great alternative to have to traditional paths like engineering or medicine. Now, having helped students get into postgraduate and MBA programs, here's a pro tip I'll give you. Now, if you're applying for MBA programs later on in your career, which many students do for better uh, job opportunities and salaries, coming from economics background, you will stand out more compared to a typical engineering applicant, especially in elite and competitive MBA programs. So your chances of getting into those programs increase. 
So that wraps up our two-part series on why BSc Economics. So I hope this uh, brought in some more clarity into this particular major and the options you have. So if you have further questions, you can drop them in the comments below or you can book a personal one-on-one -on -one session with me through the link in the description below. See you in the next video.